my name's Sherry and today I am going to do a wire wrap crystal tutorial. Um, in my previous video I explained the basics to getting started. Um, I'm just going to recap briefly. You need chain nose pliers, flat nose pliers, round nose, and flush cutters. Okay. Um, First of all, I'm going to put on some glasses just to protect my eyes. I highly recommend doing this when you're making jewelry. I know it looks a little silly, but it's worth it. Um, I'm going to use this piece of Tibetan crystal. And I have some wire here. This is 22 gauge. And this is just real simple, basic wire. Um, which I recommend using when you're first starting out. Of course, you can use any kind of wire you'd like. Um, so I'm going to cut two pieces about six inches long, just to make sure we have plenty of wire left over that we're not going to run out. So there's nothing more annoying than running out of wire when you're working at a project. Now, first thing, I want you to take the, the crystal and place it between the two wires like so. Leave some space up top. So it's just crouched couch between the two wires. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is hold the crystal tight and then on each end, you're going to take the two wires. And I would say twist about five or six times. And just Pinch it like so and just sort of rotate it. So you're sort of twisting the wires together, if you can see it. Let me put it as close as possible. And then I want you to do the same with the other end. Make sure the crystal is in there really tight. And just twist the other side together. Same amount, five or six times. Four. What you have is the crystal like this and then the two edges and then you're going to take each edge and put it up to the wall of the crystal like so. Okay. Now do the same with the other edge. Press it up to the wall. So the both sides and again it's not going to be tight at first. We're going to tighten it towards the end. Okay. Now what you're going to have is two wires on each side again. So the two wires from each opposite side are sort of going to connect. And you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to take these two wires on each side that you have. Just twist it a few times. Do the same with the other side. Okay. And now you're going to do the same thing where you flatten it up to the edge of the crystal. Okay. So now I just want you to look really closely what we should have right now. So now that you're up to the top of the crystal, you're going to take two wires, um, preferably two from each, one from each side, sort of connect them to the top, and this is going to make the bail. Okay, so I'm going to put these other two down so you can just see how I just took two wires, basically, put them to the top of the crystal. Okay, now take these two wires, do the same thing that you did on the edge of the crystal and just twist them together, making sure that they're at the top of the crystal. And again, if you're just getting started out, don't worry if it's not perfect, if it looks a little sloppy at first, because that's just part of the process, okay? So twist it about this high, and then I want you to take your round nose and sort of use it to kind of shape this into the shape of like a bale you know, the piece that um, goes around the chain. It's called a bell. And then push it right down. And it sort of forms a loop. Again, nothing's tied in yet. It's just sort of pushed down. Now, I what I want you to do is take the wires that you have, any wire will work, and use them to sort of tighten the bottom of this. So I'm just going to take this wire for now and just take it and just use it to keep this loop in place. Like I want you to just 
wrap it around. Again, any wire will work. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to use one of these wires to reinforce it. Um, just do that a few times just to make sure it's tight, okay? See what I mean? Just circle it around. Now when you've done that a few times, you're going to have a lot of loose wires. Um, they're obviously not going to be tucked in yet. And what I want you to do is take these pliers with a chain nose, and I want you to take the end. Um, actually, first of all, I want you to cut off some of this. Just leave like an inch max of wire, because we're not going to need any more of that, okay? So just cut off any excess of these wires so we don't have too much wire that we're trying to okay so you're gonna have something that looks like this and now the final step one of the final steps is we're just gonna take take the wire and what you're gonna do is kind of hide it underneath these wires that you have down here so take this and sort of just Fit it underneath this wire. It should be fairly loose at this point down here because we haven't tightened it. So it shouldn't be that hard to just sort of tuck it under one of these wires. Like so. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just taking this and just, just really tucking it under. Just wrapping it underneath the wire and around the wire that we have below the crystal. You know, do that a few times. Make sure it's really tight. You're going to have what looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. How it's just... If you can see how I'm just sort of wrapping it under there a few times. And do this with all your wires. Until they're secure. Again, you can wrap it really under any way, any, un, sorry, under any wire that you'd like. Just make sure that it's tucked under something. It's not just flying out there. Okay. Um, now when you've found when you've done this to all of them, what you can also do as a side note, if you don't want to tuck them all under the other wires, you can also sort of take the very end of the wire, like so. You can see it. And put a curly cue on the end with these. And just flatten it to the top of the wire like so. Just make sure it's out of the way of the bail. Um, now when you've done this, I want you to take the edge of the wire, cut it at the end after it's already secured under one of the wires. Actually, I should be using this to put all my scraps in, but I'll do that later. And now, um, with these wires, sort of make sure that the very end of the wire is tucked under. Like so. So there's no pieces hanging out. You're going to have something that looks like this, if you can see how it's sort of tucked under there. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and do this with all of them. Okay. Um, so after you've done that, um, 
you're going to take these flat nose pliers and what you're going to do is find one of this one of these wires at the bottom that we first started out with and you're going to pinch it between these pliers like so if you can see it ah. Let's see if i can get a better angle you're going to pitch it like so and then you're going to twist the wires so it's going to sort of look like that when you're finished and that's going to hold it in place and i want you to do this with every wire every piece down here again just clamp onto it and twist it like so and I'll do the same with the other side really get a grasp on that wire this wire right here is what I'm talking about pinch it and twist you can see how and that really holds the crystal in um, if you don't do that the crystal will be loose and it will just fall right out that's how you can sort of secure the crystal without um, having a hole in it okay um So I hope this video was clear enough. Um, let me know if I can clarify anything for you. Um, this really is a great project, um, something you can get started on right away. And it's really fun. I mean, it's really beautiful to just to wear it, you know, to have a crystal on you. Um, anyway, um, hope this was helpful. Feel free to comment. Thanks.